Perfect. We are going to get rolling. Everyone awake? Everyone ready to roll? We're going to need zero equipment for this entire work. It may take, I don't even know, an hour and a half, two hours of complete. So I hope you don't got nowhere to be. I hope you don't have any apartments you have to be at. I'm pretty sure you all have nowhere to be. So we're going to be here all morning together having some freaking fun. It's going to break it down for you real quick before we get started. There's going to be a long upper body circuit, a long lower body circuit. So we're going to start with just one single exercise, a single upper body exercise for six reps. It's a joke. Every time we get back to upper body, we just add another piece of that exercise until it becomes an 11-piece complex exercise. Still gets repeated, just six reps. Easy stuff. Zero equipment, just your body weight. You don't need any space. You can literally be in that exact spot the entire time. So there's absolutely no excuse not to get this stuff done if you don't have equipment. But if you watched the video I did last night, if you do need some equipment, we're going to be loaning out equipment. If you need some heavier dumbbells or kettlebell or medicine ball bands, we're going to be lending that, loaning that stuff out. So you'll, you'll get more information about that rest later this week, and we'll start rolling that out next week. But let's get rolling. Let's get started. We're going to warm up with just... Um, just real quick before you guys start, listen, um, you should be... Listen to her, you're following me. Listen to her, you're following me. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys, you can consult your physician before you start any of these online programs. Um, if you feel any faintness, dizziness, shortness of breath, or pain, you should stop immediately. And all these videos are for educational purposes only. I will post the entire disclaimer in the chat. Let me know if you have any questions. So we're flinging the right arm over, right arm under. Flings. We're going to go two forward solar circles, two backward solar circles while your feet are moving. Right arm under, right arm over for two each. Then you're going to hit Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. You're going to rotate through those all on your own while you're moving. Even this stuff, you should be having some positive energy motivated while you're just warming up, while you're stretching. You need to get your body flowing. Fling those shoulders. Right arm on top, right arm on bottom, two each. Quad stretch, each side, one to three seconds each. Flip to the other side, one to three seconds each. Knee hug. Knee hug, right back to those shoulder circles. While you're doing these, your feet are moving. You're moving forward. You're moving backwards. Getting loose. Getting the blood flow. Let's catch your first shoulder stretch. Catch your first stretch for about three seconds. Fling it open. Catch the other side. One more time each side. Fling it. Catch it. Fling it. And let's go a wide stance. Wide as the shoulder width. You're going to come down. Tap the floor, come up, breathe out, fling your chest open. Tap the floor, come up, hand over hand, opening up that upper back. <sighs> Exhale when you come up. Stretch your hands to the lower back. We need to hold it for an extra second to the bottom and wiggle it out, wiggle it out. Come up, hand over hand. Come more each side. <sighs> Open it up. <sighs> One more each. <sighs> and... Open up. So the beginning of this circuit is going to basically be a warm-up anyway, so we're going to go right into it. The first upper body exercise, there's going to be 11 upper body and 11 upper body. So just stay with me. The first upper body exercise is just a walking squat thrust. It's a joke. So it's level one, walking squat thrust. We're just doing six of them. So if you're not at six, we're still going to all switch at the same time. So I'll tell you when to switch. So if you got to six or seven or eight, and I didn't call switch, it's gonna be about six. Either I'm gonna do six myself, that's gonna be our timer, or I'll be watching one of you. So usually each time I'll be watching one of you to pick as our timer. Once that person hits six, then we'll just switch it up. Or I'll wait, sometimes we'll wait till everyone gets to six. So right now, you're just it's gonna be about six. You're just gonna follow right along the walking spot. So you're gonna squat down, step your right leg back, your left leg back, right leg in, left leg in, stand up. So this is just getting us warmed up. So squat down, all take a slight goes back. Now left, right, left, right, and squat up. So I'm squatting down, head up, chest out. Right, left, right, left, and bring it up. Leave with the left leg this time. So alternate which leg you lead with. One time right, left, right, left. Next time left, right, left, right. Make sure you're squatting down to get down there. Keep your head up, your chest out, your shoulders back and down. That's the way you need to be thinking about it. Abs are strong in that bottom position, just getting the upper body loosened up, warmed up, because we'll be doing a lot down in that first up position. It's just going to be six of them or about six of them. Again, if you get to six, you just keep going until we all stop at the same time. Do not stop at six. It's going to be six going off of one of you at a time. 
So simple, our first lower body exercise. That's our first column, our upper body. Now we're gonna go to our second column, our lower body. And it's just a simple body weight squat. It's a joke. And it's just six minutes. Sit back on your heels. Get through your nose down, out through your mouth on the way up. Sit back on your glutes, on your hips. Just six of them. That's it. It's simple. It's a joke. It's lower body stage one. We're going to 11 stages on each of these. We're going to build up to it. And time. So now we're going back to the upper body, which was walking squat thrusts. All we're doing is adding in two push-ups. That's it. So walking squat thrusts. Again, don't forget to alternate which leg goes first. So squat back, two push-ups. Come back in, right, left, and come up. That counts as one. You're going to six or about six. I'm going to keep calling it six. I don't want, I'm not going to keep repeating it, but you just keep going on your own. It's going to be about six now. But I want to make sure we all switch at the same time. So squat down. Next time, make sure your left leg goes back first. Hit your two push-ups. Left, right, and squat up. Make sure you're squatting down when you go down, squatting up when you come up. Strong push-ups. A full real push-up, you can do them, is your chest touching the floor, your feet together, in through your nose and way down, up the mouth and the way up. That's a full push-up. You want to get two of them every time you're down there. So walking squat thrust, two push-ups, six times. Walking squat thrust, two push-ups. Whatever leg steps back first is the same leg that should step forward first on that walking squat thrust. So one time, go right, left. Two push-ups, right, left, coming back in, stand up. Next time, squat down, back to the left, back to the right. Two pushes, come in with the left, in with the right, until we get to six. And time, we're going to call that six. So we're going to stage two on the lower. So as you can see, these first stages act as our warm-up as we build it up. These are going to become ridiculously long exercises once we get towards hour number two. So now we're just going to squat. And knee raise, you're just gonna pause for a second. Squat and knee raise. This is gonna be six total. Six total. Squat. So knee raise. All same which knee comes up, but hold and balance for a full second up in the air. Hold it. Down into a deep squat and hold. Locked in place at the top. Brace that cord. The leg you're standing on, fire that glute. Knee is slightly bent on the leg you're standing on. Don't hyperextend it. Don't lock it out. We're just getting your blood flowing, getting things moving, getting working, building up on it. It's going to be six. So let's get one more, one more, get low, get low. Ass in the grass. And time. So we're going to our walking squat, that's the push-up, adding in a shoulder tap each side. Don't forget, it's two push-ups, two shoulder taps. Let's do it. Walking squat, thrust, squat down, right leg, left leg, two push-ups, two shoulder taps. Right leg steps in, left leg steps in, stand up. That whole chain, six times. Walking squat thrust, two push-up, two shoulder tap. Just going to be watching, checking you out, making sure we're all good. Have you on two screens here, so if you see me looking up or down, got you on screen A here. You can see my whole body, the other one, you see this, you see it happening. Make sure you get as good as you can in that push-up. There you go, Peggy, nice push-up. If you want to challenge yourself a little more on the push-up, just put your feet all the way together, heel to heel, toe to toe, like your feet touching. If you want to really challenge yourself on that push-up, if you're able to do a lot of deep quality push-ups, get all the way down there. And again, again, it's two push-ups each time. In through your nose, down on that push-up, out through your mouth, the way up, working your chest, your shoulders, your tricep. Brace your core. Think of the push-up like a moving plank. That's where you need to approach this push-up. We're doing six total of that entire chain for this upper body. This Good. Don't forget body. those shoulder taps, Tracy. <laughs> two push-ups, two shoulder tap. And, and if possible, in the space you have, try to adjust your camera that we can see when you're standing and when you're in the push-up position. For a lot of you, that's going to be, if you see on my first camera, you can see a long ways on my camera, other cameras across. If you need to shift your camera long ways, shift it long ways. That way we'll be able to see you standing and we'll be able to see your entire body on the floor. So adjust it, or you can just put your camera further away, because some of you can't see at the bottom. Beth, you can't see that much as well. There we go. Now we can. You're good. Uh. Want to make sure we can totally see your body bottom. There we go. Laura, we can see now. All right, time. So now we're going to stage three on the lower body. So we can get six of them. We have squat, knee raise. We're going to do each knee raise, and then a reverse lunge on each side. 
So that's going to be end up really being two squats because we need to be raised each side. Squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That counts as one. You need to repeat that six times. So squat, knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, reverse, left, reverse lunge left, reverse lunge right, counts as one rep. You need to do that six times. So I'll walk you through it if you don't you have it down. Start drilling these combinations in your head because we're going to keep building for rest of the Squat, knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, reverse lunge right, reverse lunge left. If you want to pin just my video on, all you do is double tap on someone's video on your screen, if you're on a computer, and it'll show just that person's video on there. And you'll be able to see just that. And if you're looking at me, it should be the one that's up and down, you can see the entire body. So again, let's go squat, knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, reverse lunge right, reverse lunge left. On those reverse lunges beside you, make sure your both knees are 90 degrees. Upper body stays straight up and down. So you're starting to get warmed up right now. Your body temperature should start getting up. Blood is flowing. Start to wake up those damn legs. Arms are ready to roll. We're going to six. And time on that lower body. So we're going to stage four on the upper. Walking squat thrust. So push up the shoulder tap. You're just adding a knee tuck on each side. So we're going to walk and squat thrust. You can start if you have it. Squat. Two push ups. Two shoulder taps. Two knee tucks. Squeeze on those knee tucks. And then squat thrust back up. Alternate which leg starts to walk and squat thrust. Make sure you do that. You don't want to be stepping up on the same leg each time. So one time, go right, left, right, left on the squat thrust. Next time, go left, right, left, right. If I'm already getting sweating, you better be getting sweating. If you're not, you're going to start pushing. You're going to get a little deeper on those squats, a little deeper on those push-ups. Hold your ground on those shoulder taps. Back should be totally straight and strong. Get low, get low. You see, if you can, touch that chest to the floor on the push-ups. Want to see the chest on the floor. Full push-up. A nice, slow, controlled shoulder taps. Crunch, dig, slow, controlled on those knee tucks. Put the whole chain together. This is stage four on the upper. We're going all the way to stage 11 on the upper and on the lower sides. Here we go. Get that chest to the floor. Get a little lower, get a little lower. Rebecca, see if you can get a little lower on that push-up. Tighten up, tighten up a little bit. Straight, stiff, strong, like your body's moving, as stiff as a board. From your ankle up to your top of your head is one straight, strong line, a pillar. Knee tuck here, stage four for upper. On that chest, shoulders, try hold it tight, hold your ground. You have to brace your core to hold yourself in place this entire time. And time, we're going to call that six. So we're adding in a front kick on each side for our lower. So that means follow me through this whole thing. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right with a kick. Reverse lunge left with a front kick. So we just added a front kick to each of those reverse lunges. So it's a squat, knee raise, knee raise. Reverse lunge right, right kick. Reverse lunge left, left kick. I'll walk you through it again. Squat. Knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, reverse lunge right, boom, right kick, reverse lunge left, and bam, left kick. That equals one. Need to go to six. Keep rolling. I'm watching, I'm watching you get, take a little more time on the squats. Don't just bounce down on those squats. Control yourself while get deep, low, squeeze the glutes, and quad. Sit back on your hips and heels. Your abs are strong, your head is up, chest is out, back is totally straight. Keep it rolling. Boom, there you go. Get that kick from the side view. Bend and extend. So we'll lunge to the kick on the side view. Lunge back and boom, right to it. Lunge back on the other side, boom. So 90 degrees on both knees on that lunge. Then bend the knee and extend. Pass it out there with that front kick. Keep rolling, going to six. And time. Most of these I'm watching, one of you specifically, and that's what we're going for our countdown. When that person gets to six, that's the round. So sometimes it'll be a little longer, shorter, whatever it is. Stage five for the upper. We're just going to add a full speed squat thrust to this. So we're going walking squat thrust, two push ups, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee tuck, knee tuck, 
So you're gonna jump in. Now we're gonna add just one full squat thrust. Full speed, jumping back, jumping in, standing up. Just adding in one squat thrust, simple stuff. Let's do it, I'll walk you through it again. Walking squat thrust, alternate and sling back first. Two push-ups. Two shoulder taps, knee tuck, knee tuck. Walk in to finish that walking squat thrust in a full jumping squat thrust, get you back standing up. So after that, two push-ups, two shoulder taps, two knee tucks, you're walking in to finish off that first squat thrust. Now do a full jumping squat thrust. Bam, right there. And that all counts as one. This is stage five upper. Drill this back into your body, into your head. It doesn't become automatic. Keep rolling, keep moving. Add strong in that bottom position. Chest, shoulders, tries on those push ups. Chest to the floor, breathe out. Make sure you're squatting down when you're down there. Don't lean over at the waist. Look at my head and chest when I'm squatting for that squat thrust. You should be here when you're getting down there, not leaning over the waist. Not a flop thrust, make it a squat thrust. Squat down to get down there, not leaning over at the waist. Yes, yes, get low. Get low on those push-ups. Chest to the floor every time. If you want to challenge yourself, feet together. You need a little more help with your feet apart. Put them as close together as you can, but as far apart as you're capable of. Close to as far apart as you need to, though. So again, that's the walking squat thrust. Two push-ups, two swords, have two feet up. And then one full jumping squat thrust to finish it off. Jennifer, make sure you're not swimming over on the squat thrust. Clara, make sure it's a deep squat on the squat thrust. Squat to get down there. Don't lean over the waist. So I should be able to see your face pretty much the entire time on that squat thrust until you get to the push-up. It shouldn't, I shouldn't see the top of your head. It means that you're leaning over the waist. So I should see your face while you're swimming down that squat thrust. So keep it straight. It's there we go. Perfect, Clara. Exactly what I'm talking about right there. That's how you do shit, like immediate, uh, paying attention to the instructions and bam, and nailed it. That's how it's be. Nice squat thrust, nice squat, head up, chest out, sit deep on the heels, open the hips up, and we're cruising. Yeah. And time for stage five on upper, we're going to stage five on lower. We're adding in a rotating power squat, I'll walk you through it. Let's go from the top on lower. So it's squat, knee raise right, squat, Knee raise left, reverse lunge right, front kick, reverse lunge left, front kick. Now we're going to power squat, one to each side. So we're going pop, pop, drop, back to the middle, pop, pop, drop to the other side. So one each side, turns as one. Walk and do it again if you don't got that. Squat, knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, reverse lunge right, boom, reverse lunge left, kick, pop, pop, Drop to the left, pop, pop, drop to the right. And that's the round, that's one. Not the round, that's a, that's a one rep. We're going six-ish of them. So keep it rolling. Let's get deep on that first squat. Squeeze the core when you're doing that knee raise. Don't rush through these movements. It doesn't get fast until you do the front kick and the power squat rotating. All the rest of it should be controlled, Slow movement, and then that front kick, boom, is where you snap it, and then the pop, pop, drop, pop, pop, drop, twist is where you start picking up the pace. The same way on the upper, run up nice and slow, walking squat thrust, push up. We don't pick up the pace until we get to that real squat thrust. So stage five right here is where we start picking up the pace on all of them. Start working a little harder on all of them as you're getting more warmed up, getting into the flow, getting a feel for it. Jeff, be a little wider on that squat to so get a little deeper. A little wider on that squat. Want your feet so much you can get full deep. Quads parallel, wide parallel to the floor. You don't want your feet to together and crunch in your knees and have to make your knees and hips go outward. There you we go. Good. After that stand the knee, go right into the squat. After that stand the knee, right into the squat. Look at my feet for this power squat. Power squat rotating. So feet are all the way together like a pogo hop for two. Pop. Pop and out wide drop. I'll show you actually in the side here. Pop, pop, and then drop. Pop, pop, drop. <coughs> Rotates the right one to the left for one. So that's two squats, two lunges, and two power squat rotating with those knee raises and front kicks in between. Put it together. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Bam. 
reverse lunge left, boom, pop, pop, squat to the right, pop, pop, squat to the left, is a full, full rep. We need six of them. Keep rolling, keep cruising. Your legs are starting to get woken up by now. Starting to get warmed up. Let's do this, let's roll. This is stage five of lower. This is where we start picking up the pace. It was all just getting you rolling up until this point. Now you kind of have an idea how this is going. So you all start clicking, start making sense. You don't have to think about it. You think doing 11 exercises in one, basically combining 11 exercises into one complex, one exercise. Time, that's end of stage five below. We're going to stage six for upper. All we're doing is adding in four total mountain climbers. That's to each side. So let's do it from the top. You should know this part, walking squat thrust, two push-ups, two shoulder taps, two knee tucks, finish the walking squat thrust, a full squat thrust with four climbers at the bottom, jump in, come up, bam, stage six on the upper. And we're calling this one upper because you're down there holding yourself up the entire time. Obviously, you're working your entire body, so don't ever just think. Whenever you're working upper body, and your lower body is getting a break. We're working everything. You're working your upper, your lower, your core, your strength, your conditioning, your freaking brain. So walking squat thrust, two push-ups, two shoulder taps, two knee tucks, a full squat thrust, four mountain climbers, and bounce back up to your feet. Let's see who got it. Let's see who got it. Going back. When you're going up and down that squat thrust, Laura. There we go, we're cruising. Yeah, make sure when you come in, your feet come outside your hands. Keep it cruising. Full deep push up. Challenge yourself in these push ups. Get yourself a fraction of an inch deeper every time you try push ups. Every week, get an extra half an inch deep on your push up. Before you know it, you'll be doing full push ups or full sets. Don't just condition yourself just to go two inches and never challenge yourself, never struggle before you'll just be stuck in that same spot. You gotta constantly push freaking forward and challenge yourself on everything, the littlest things. Attention to the littlest details. We're cruising, we're in six of these is not gonna take a lot longer because we're up to stage six on the upper. So this six reps are gonna take a little longer. So you just keep cruising, keep rolling. Nice, nice walking squat. Let's open those hips up, the head is up, the chest is out. Walk you through one more, walk you squat thrust, step back, two push, two shoulder taps, knee tuck, knee tuck, walk in, full jumping squat thrust, four climbers, jump in and up. Make sure you're jumping in. After those four climbers, you're gonna have one leg forward and one leg back. Make sure you step back with both legs so both legs can jump forward to stand up. Don't just flop up with one leg forward, one leg back. Make sure we're dropping those hips down. Even when we come up from that squat thrust, don't hunch over. And time on stage six for upper. We're going over to stage six for lower. We're adding in a power lunge after that power squat. I'm walking through it. You should know the whole routine now for lower. So if you know it, you just get started. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Bam. Reverse lunge left. Left kick, power squat, twist to the left. Power squat, twist to the right. Now you're gonna power lunge. It's just pop, pop, drop into lunge. Pop, pop, drop into the other side on the lunge. That's all you're doing for the power lunge. I'll show you from the side, just power lunge. Pop, pop, drop to the right. Pop, pop, drop to the left. So you're adding in a power lunge, that's two reps. The squat gets two reps. The lunge gets two reps. The power squat gets two reps. And the power lunge gets two reps. All of that equals one long full rep for stage six of lower. We're going six full reps of the entire complex. So if you don't have it down, if you're a little behind, just follow me. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Front kick, reverse lunge left. Front kick, power squat, drop to the right. Power squat, drop to the left. Power lunge. Drop right knee, power lunge, drop left knee. That's a lot of shit to call it only one rep, I'll tell you that. 
And that is only stage six. We're going to 11 stages of each. Sheesh. <laughs> Come on. I'm tripping, sweat. I'm tripping sweat here just showing you like one or two of each. So how are we feeling out there? Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down, a little finger, something? Yes. <laughs> I did try to concentrate on all the exercises. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Don't bounce in those regular spots. Don't forget, the beginning of each complex should be slow and controlled. And then as you get into those faster paced movements, then you start ba 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 Take up the pace on all those. This is stage six lower. Let's get one more rep in on stage six lower. And time. So we're going to stage seven upper. It's going to be a low plank jack for two reps. I'll walk you through it. Follow me on this first one. You already should know the game. Walking squats is all that good stuff. Walking squat thrusts, two push ups, two shoulder taps, two knee tucks. Finish your walking squat thrust. Full walking squat thrust. Four climbers. Get down low at your forearm for two plank jacks. You have to come up at your hands to finish the squat thrust. I'll walk you through this. Don't worry if you don't have it. I'm pretty sure you'll have it because you're building up to this. You have it down by now. You don't even have to think about it. <laughs> Walking squat thrust. Two push. Two shoulder tap. Two knee tuck, walk it in, stand up, jumping squat thrust, four climbers, get down low, two plank jack, get back up high, jump it in, and come up, and that is one rep for stage seven of the upper. We're doing six-ish of them. Keep it rolling, keep it bang, keep those abs tight. All the exercises we do, I can't stress it enough. Think of every single movement as a core exercise, because every one of them is. It's going to make you stronger and everything. Keep those abs tight. You do all this weird up and down shit, pulling down there for twist, twist, and tuck and tuck, and all this other circus act shit. Make sure your abs stay tight. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make all the movements better. It's going to make your muscles work the right way, because you're going to be balanced and straightened. <sighs> One squat, two push up, two shoulder tap, two knee tuck, jump squat thrust, four mountain climbers, two low plank jacks. You gotta get low to the low plank. You gotta walk down there, bop, bop, jack for two, walk back up, jump in, stand up. And that's a wrap. See what we got here. Don't sacrifice form because you're tired. Come on, keep pushing. Make sure we get good, correct form. Squat thrust, everything. He tucks slow and control. There we go. We're cruising. Nice work. Nice work. Good pace, Beth. Keep it rolling. Woo! Nice pace. Keep moving, breaking forward. That's all you need to tell yourself. Think of the next movement coming up. That's it. Don't even this whole, whole chain of seven. Just think of the next one. All right, I just got to do two shoulder taps. All I have to do before I die is two Shoulder taps, right after that, all right. All I gotta do right now is two knee tucks, and I'm done, done, done. All right, all I gotta do now is one squat thrust. Just break it down into little mini wins, little mini victories, little mini sets, and then just go to the next one. Just one foot in front of the other. Before you know it, you're in the best shape of your life. You're freaking positive, you're motivated, you're successful. Keep driving forward. It's all you need to be thinking about. One more rep, one more rep for everyone. Let's hit it, one more rep. Walking squat thrust, two push-ups. Two shoulder tap, two knee tuck, and bleeding. Jumping squat thrust to four mountain climbers, two, three, four feet, both feet back, low plank for two jacks. Walking back up, jump in, and, and time for stage seven on upper. We are going to stage seven on lower. We're just adding in a, bait, a regular squat jump for two reps. So I'll walk through the first one, but I'm pretty sure you have this down because these are all really just basic movements that were just combined together. It's just flow. It's like flow. It's like artwork. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Ankle bow. Reverse lunge left. Boom. Power squat. Rotate right. 
power squat, rotate left, power lunge, drop right, power lunge, drop left, into two squat jumps. Bam, one rep down, you only need five more to go, so just go to six. Squat, knee raise right, squat, knee raise left, lunge, right kick front, lunge, right kick left, power squat, rotate right, power squat, rotate left, power lunge, drop the right, power lunge, drop the left. After those yeah. lunges, squat yeah. jumps. Yeah. Rolling. Nice pace, Peggy. Keep bouncing it out. Perfect. Keep those feet together on the, on the power of squats and lunges. Pop, pop, and drop. We're, we're rolling. We're cruising. Nice pace. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Keep bouncing it out. <laughs> How we feel? We feel good. We feel warmed up. Yeah. Nice and steady. Yo, abs tight for those squats. You're doing a lot of squats. So keep those abs nice and tight when you're going down. Tyson, it's only two in the morning. What the hell are you doing? There's got to be a school, to school in the morning. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. Big team squats. I'm going to walk you. Make sure you have it. Squat. Knee tuck right. Squat. Knee tuck left. Reverse lunge. Right kick. Reverse lunge, left kick, power squat to the right, pop up drop to the left, pop up drop to the right lunge, pop up to the left lunge, two squat jumps. Get as smooth a transition as you can. So wrap that last one, jump right two feet apart, bring that flow, you can just flow like water, flowing down the stream, just let one piece set up the next. It's just chaining together, fluid movement. No choppiness in between, just let it chain together. The last piece of one movement is setting up the first piece of the next movement. Let it flow, gliding through it. Control those beginning, that beginning part. Laura, control the squats coming down on that squat, knee raise right. Don't let yourself slam down. You don't want to put any pressure on your knees. Control down on that first stage, squats, knee raise. This is stage seven already. Only going to 11. Couple more reps, you gotta make sure we get six reps, the long set. So six reps is gonna take a longer amount of time. So keep it rolling, keep attacking it. That squat jump, I need to see a lot lower than that squat jump. I know it's late in the circuit for that seventh exercise, but I need you down low for that squat jump for those last two. Of course, modify if you need to, but don't just look for the easy way out with just some knee bend like this. That is not a squat jump. That's some little knee bend wiggle thing. Get low on those squat jumps at the end. Finish strong, finish with some work, finish with power, finish with pride, attack it. And then when you think you're done, you think you're ready to work the next rep, attack it even harder. The more tired you get, the harder you work. The more tired you get, the better your technique gets. The more tired you get, the faster you move. The more tired you get, the stronger you get. The more tired you get, the more focused, the more positive you get. You don't let it slow you down, you let it build you up and strengthen you up the more tired you get. So work through it, keep grinding, keep working. Get low, get deep, push yourself, challenge yourself. And five, we are going to stage eight for upper. So now you might think, all right, we're only doing 11 stages, we're at seven, so we're much more than halfway, we're like 75% there to do a stage eight, but you are, will be misinformed because that the back end, just stages 9, 10, and 11, is more than 50% of the work because it's heavy loaded on the end, if that makes sense. So just because you're at stage 8, don't think you're even, even close to halfway there yet. The halfway mark doesn't come until you get to round 9. And you're probably going crazy with the math because how is round 9 if it's 11? That's almost the end. It's not because those rounds are so much longer. It's so much more exercise. I'm purposely saying this to give you a little second of a break because I know your legs are probably feeling right there. Because my legs are feeling it. I was going for like two reps. And I'm like, damn, my legs are shot. So I know you're feeling it right now. So... Let's go to the upper, stage eight, where now all we're adding in is two high plank jacks. So you just have to walk up and hit those two jacks. So we're on walking squat thrust. Two push-ups, two shoulder tap, you know all this by now, two knee tap, you know that. Walk in to finish the walking squat thrust, now we pick up the pace. 
Jump for the squat thrust or mountain climbers. Get low, low plank, two jacks. Walk up high, two jacks. Jump in, and there is one rep. I hope you just watch all of you just stand there and watch you do that one rep. Because you already know this stuff. You know this stuff. All we did is add two high plank jacks. So I hope you can just watch you do that entire thing because you got this stuff. You know this stuff right. Let's attack it. Let's move. Let's work. There we go, Peggy. Nice walking squat thrust, keeping your upper body up and down. Tracy, try to keep those hips down. Don't let your neck slump down. I should see the top of your head. I shouldn't see the back of your neck. Tracy. One. There you go. So you're doing a push up. You don't want your neck. You can just hear this when my chin goes to my chest. You can't even hear me talk. It's screwing up your whole posture. You're just here, straightforward. Now you can just hear my normal annoying voice, not my distorted annoying voice. Back, totally straight, abs strong, stiff as a board when you're down in that position. You're finishing off with two low planks, two high planks, and I'll walk you through it again. So you from an angle. Walking squat thrust, two push ups, two shoulder taps, two knee tucks. Walk it in, squat up, jumping squat thrust, or mount climb, get low for two low plank jack, walk that plank up high, two plank jack, jump into the feet apart, look at this, and squat up. So make sure you're squatting up. You should be ending up here after that squat thrust. You just simply stand up. So you're not slumping up, you're not under pressure on your knees, your lower back. We need sharp, focused technique. Laser beam focused on every little detail of every movement. ATG, attention to detail. Every single piece of the movement, you want to be conscious of it. You want to be intentional with every movement. And that's in your workout. You want to be conscious and intentional with every freaking thing you do in your life all day, especially when you're stuck at home. Do everything with a purpose, everything with intention, everything with a sense of urgency. Keep moving forward, work through it. Laura, let's jump a little more forward on those mountain climbers. So one foot speed forward and one speed back. You should jump and switch. Don't just do this little toe drag thing. We want full mountain climbers. Keep grinding it. Keep working it. Good pace. Hey, remember, plank walks. Place the hands with the elbows. There we go. Nice squat, Peggy. Nice squat. Keep that upper body upright. Clara, nice squat. Perfect. <laughs> Down low for two plank jack low. Walk up high, two plank jack high. Plank jack and jumping in. Nice. Keeping that upper body upright. You have to do that when you're coming up and down on these squat thrusts. Keep your core tight. Sit back on the hips and heels and squat it up. You have to do it every single time. It only takes one bad rep to strain something, to do something that doesn't feel right. It's also, it's not going to work the muscle the right way. It's not going to be energy efficient. Beth, where the hell are you going? You just walk off your hands and your head. You get your ass back in front of that camera. <laughs> I'm trying to breathe, Steve. Let's go, Beth. You got this. In through your nose, out through your mouth. There you go. Push through it's it. Already yeah. stage eight. It's already stage eight out of 11. We're there. We're there. Almost to the halfway mark. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Back up. Let's move. Those hips down, Jeff. And when you're coming in with your feet, they're close together, Jeff. And you come up, your feet have to be apart. You don't want them together. You're staying up. You're going to hurt your knees, Jeff. So why? You don't want to squat those. Your feet just are apart. Anytime you're squatting down, your feet need to be wider than your hips. You need to be about so apart. Anytime they become hip width or closer and you squat, you're going to just even here, I'm going halfway down. I'm already feeling that in my knees and my lower back, not my hips, glutes, where it should be. And time at six on stage eight for upper. We're going stage eight for lower. It's just two jumping lunges, one each side, simple. I'll, so the jumping lunge, I'll show you two. It's just here, one each side. That's all you're adding to the eighth stage of the lower. So I'll walk you through from the beginning. If you already know it, just bang it out. You don't have to read it for me. You should know it, but I'll still walk you through it. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Kick right. Reverse lunge left. Kick left. 
power squat, drop to the left, power squat, drop to the right, power lunge, drop to the left, power lunge, drop to the right, to two squat jumps, one, two, to two lunge jumps, one, two, and that's one rep. So you see how I just flow, you can bounce and flow from one to the next. If you have to, you reset your feet together and you get into position, you do what you have to do, you keep it smart, you keep it safe, but you push it hard, you push it forward, you can flow it and you can bounce right into the next movement. Just let that shit flow. Keep it rolling. Nice, nice deep squat, Jennifer. Get low. I'll pop and drop. So if you can't do the jumps, you know you can modify this jump. So say the power lunge. You can go pop, pop, you can stop and do a reverse lunge. It doesn't have to be a drop. You can, if you have to, you go halfway down. You know you can modify any one of these movements automatically. You know you're capable of. You know if you have any strains, tweaks, injuries, whatever. Be smart about it. But if you can, challenge yourself, push yourself. Just being a little bit of a tired is not an excuse for not going all out and doing the full range of motion. If you can, if you're capable, and don't have an actual injury or a strain, do the full range of motion. And being just a little sore is not a strain. Being sore is part of the game. Shit, I'm sore as hell right now. I've been doing workouts every day with you online. I'm more sore than I've been probably, I don't even know, over a decade. These workouts have been crazy. I'm getting in the best shape of my life at like 29 years old right now. When I'm 29 years old, getting in the best shape of my life just by following these workouts. Get low on those. Drop into that lunge if you can. If you have to, just step into it and walk into it. Nice pace, nice pace. Let's keep rolling, Jeff. There you go, nice. Wide apart on that squat. Just like that, so you shoulder width or even a little wider. Longer your legs, the wider you need to be. Getting those thighs parallel to the floor. Hop, hop, and drop. Want to see some angles on those power squats. Get 90 degree cut. Pop, pop, and 90 degree cut the other way. You makes me feeling it right now. Mine on, I'm doing like 10% 10, 10 of what you're doing. And time for stage eight of lower. So we're going to stage nine for upper. We're going to add in a low plank Superman. So I'll just show you the end before we get started. You need something reset. So we did the low plank two jacks, high plank two jacks. Now you're going back low for an alternating Superman each side low. Then you need to come back up high to finish off the squat thrust to complete the rep. I'll still walk you through the beginning. If you lost it, we're on stage nine. Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through, but I'm pretty confident that we have it for the most part because we've been building up to this for the last how long we've been doing this. Let's do it. We'll walk you through it. Walking squat thrust. Two push up. Shoulder tap right, shoulder tap left, knee tap right, knee tap left, walk in to finish the squat thrust. Now a jumping squat thrust. Jump back. Four climbers. Four. Get low. Two low plank jack. Get high. Two high plank jack. Get low again. For a Superman, opposite arm, opposite leg, each side. Get high again. So then jump in, squat up. Completes one rep. We are doing six of them. Let's roll. If you're not doing sweat by now, you are doing something seriously wrong. Lord, just watch that leaning over the waist on those squat thrusts. You don't want to lean over. Focus. Take your time. Slow it down a little bit if you have to. Go over. There you go. Make it a full squat. You don't want to strain your lower back. You have to slow the tempo down a little bit. You're better off slower, smoother. We were saying in the military, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. There's certain times it's going to help you out. It's going to make you sweat more by going a little bit slower because you're going to get better technique, better control of your body. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. There's a time for slow, a time for fast. Make sure you have control of yourself. You should be going no faster than perfect. You just kind of rush it. Your technique's not perfect. It's too fast. You need to pull back and drop. <laughs> Keeping it moving. I'll walk you through it. Let's do it. You're going Remember, low plank, Superman. Up. Low plank. Two push up. Two shoulder tap. 
two knee raise, walk it up, jump down for the squat thrust, four climbers, two low climb jacks, two high climb jacks, and then low plank, Superman right, Superman left, walk back up, jump in, and come up. Nine. Stage nine of the upper. We are getting there. We are getting there. We're getting to the top of the freaking mountain. We are about to conquer this stuff. Don't cheat out my push-ups. Come on. I see you guys cheating out my push-ups. Get low. If you have to modify, put that whole body on the ground. Push yourself up. Almost a block. Keep that chest elevated every single squat, not just the ones that I'm reminding you on. You need to tell yourself that and focus every second of every exercise. Conscious control of all techniques. Here we go. Here we go. We're rolling. It's, it's stage nine of upper, so it's going to take a little longer. Bang it out. Chipping away. Piece by piece. Hips down, hips down, those plank jacks, get those butts out of the air. Nice push-up, Peggy, this late in the game, still getting solid push-ups. And nice deep squat, I like it. Yes. Keep it rolling, chain this stuff together, piece by piece. Every single move sets up the next move. Tight core the entire time, stiff, straight, and strong. You ladies and gentlemen have some nice muscle definition in the shoulders. I'm telling you, I can see it. You can see. Ah. Ah. You quit snapping the pictures and get back to work. Who's snapping the picture? The one with the red couch. That's not me. That's your wife. Is that Looking you, Looking for a way to have a break. Oh, I need to snap some pictures. I know, that's like the old shoelace trick. You loosen your shoelace up just enough before the start of a round, so that in the middle of the round, your shoelace comes on tight. Oh, darn, I gotta tie my shoelace and take a break. I know that trick. <laughs> take the shoe, throw it over your shoulder, and run it. <laughs> and time, it's round nine. We're up, we're going to stage nine for lower. It's simple, it's just a split jack for four. So split jack, legs only for four. Easy stuff. And we're walking through from the top. If you know it, if you just bang that, you probably do know it. So it's squat. Let's go. We're rolling. Knee raise right. Squat. Knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. And kick. Reverse lunge left. And kick. Get that knee up there for that kick. Power squat. Drop to the left. Power squat. Drop to the right. Power lunge. Drop right knee. Power lunge. Drop left knee. Two squat jumps. One and two. Two lunge jumps, one and two, and then just four split jacks gives you stage nine of lower. All of that crap was one rep. We need six of them. Let's do it. Let's roll. Again, modify whatever parts you need to. You know if you can't jump down into a lunge, you can't drop into it. Just simply get your bearings, get your feet. Step into it, do a partial rep, even just tapping backwards for a lunge or for a split jack. Modify before you stop, die before you quit. That's the way you need to be thinking about it. Die before you quit. Yes. I'm dying, Steve. I'm dying. Listen, if you're dying, if you're going to die, 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 these people are aware about action. If you're going to puke, puke. If you're going to pass out, pass out. If not, people will keep working. What's the That's last one? one? That's why you need to attack these days and attack the quarantine and all this other stuff. What's the last Keep one? Keep rolling. What was the added on one? Split jack. Uh, four total. You, four total. you are live. Say something, peak freaks. Hey! Hey, put the damn camera away and get back to work. That's nothing to say. <laughs> There's nothing to say. New York is saying hello to you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> get low on those squats. Don't start cheating. It's just going to get a little tired. You're already stage nine. Stage nine. You're there. The top of the mountain is right there. You can see the peak of the mountain. You're about to get there. <laughs> six of these. That's all we need. Just six. <clears throat> and five on lower stage nine. 
Up for stage nine, who thinks they know what's going to be next? What are we adding on? Simple stuff. What are we adding? I have no idea. <laughs> Oxygen. We're adding on oxygen. High playing Superman. High playing Superman, right? Low playing uh, Superman. Jack. Low playing Superman. It's going to high playing Superman. Come on now. Easy. Day one stuff. Day one stuff. We're going to walk through the first one. Walking squat thrust. Two push-ups. Two. Knee tuck for two. Walk in. Stand up. Jumping squat thrust. Four mountain climbers. Low plank jack for two. High plank jack for two. Low plank Superman. Right side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Come up high. High plank Superman. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Jump in. Squat up. One rep. Let's roll for six. You good? Keeping it rolling. Walking squat thrust, two push up, two solo tap, two knee tuck, squat thrust, four mountain climber, two low plank jack, two high plank jack, two low Superman, two high Superman. Jump in, stand up, yell out your rep. <laughs> or just yell. <laughs> That'll work. I like it. Let it out. Let out the beast. Let out the freak. <sighs> Take your time on those Supermans. Those high Supermans. Look, take your time. Squeeze. Squeeze. Don't just swing in the air. You're going to end up pulling something in some weird right. spot. Squeeze. Stay straight and strong. I know you're feeling good because I am pumped up right now. I feel like I did a full workout. I'm doing like one rep and so you use times. I know you're feeling good right now. I'm freaking pumped. I'm soaking wet, dripping sweat. My shirt is completely soaked. So I know you feel so good. Keep it rolling. This is already stage 10 of upper. Ah! Ah, yeah! Ah! There it is. Control ah! your movement. We need good technique every single step, every single stage of the way. We need controlled quality movements. Finishing off with that low plank Superman, high plank Superman. After those Supermans, you've got to jump your feet in and finish off that squat thrust. All right. We're walking through one more. Let's go. We're walking through it. Let's go, Walk Clara. You got this. Come on, Clara. Two foot. Tap right. Tap left. Top right. Top left. Walk in. Dropping squat thrust. Four climbers. Low plank jack for two. High plank jack for two. Low plank Superman for two. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Control and hold. Come up high. Control right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Can't jump in. Time on stage 10 for upper. We're almost there. We are almost at the peak of the freaking mountain. We are almost there. Stage 10 for lower. We're just going crisscross jacks. Just two, that's it. One with the right leg in front, one with the left leg in front. Simple stuff, I'll walk you through it from the top. Okay. Let's do it. Stage 10 lower, are we ready? Yeah. Squat, knee raise right. Squat, knee raise left. Reverse lunge right, kick. Reverse lunge left, kick. Power squat, drop to the left. Power squat, drop to the right. Power lunge, drop to the left. Power lunge, drop the right. Two squat jumps, two lunge jumps, four split jacks, two crisscross jacks, completes stage 10, lower, one rep. Five more, five more. Keeping it rolling, keeping it flowing, piece by piece. Don't lose your flow, don't lose your posture, don't lose your technique. You're banging it out. Yes, yes. You need to get just as low on those lunges. Drop just those hips. Low. Drop those hips for those squats. Don't sacrifice the form because you're tired. Get feet apart. Feet apart on those squats. Hop, hop, and drop. Get that 90 degree turn on those power squats. Hop, hop, and cut 90 degrees. 
Pop, pop, and cut. Nine degrees the other way. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Keep it rolling. Keep it flowing. Keep moving. <laughs> rolling. We're rolling. This is already stage 10 or lower. You just got one more stage up, but one more stage lower. Done. Nice, nice. Keep banging it out. Who's done six reps ready for this? Nobody. <laughs> Who got the six reps? Nobody. All right, keep going. I thought one of us did it. <coughs> Sip it and get right back in the game. There it is. I like it. The crisscross sacks can be just laid on. You don't even need to add your arms in. Give those shoulders a break. You've been holding yourself up on them for 50% of this workout. So that crisscross sack, just legs on. Right leg in front, right leg in back. All right, everyone, stop. We're going to walk through one more together. Everyone from the top. From the top, we're going to walk through. One, together, stage 10, lower. Let's go squat. Knee raise right. Squat. Knee raise left. Reverse lunge right. Kick. Reverse lunge. Kick. Pop, pop, and drop to the left. Pop, pop, drop to the right. Pop, pop, lunge right. Pop, pop, lunge left. Two, squat, jumps. Two, lunge, jumps. Four, flip, jacks. Three, two, Chris Cross Jacks, time for stage 10, time. Last stage for upper <coughs> is after the high plank Superman. All we're doing is finishing off with two push ups and a big jump in the air finish. So, after you hit those two Superman, I just want two final push ups to go out with a bang, to come in, and I want to jump in the air. I know it's called upper, we're at the jump just to go out with a bang to explode for stage. Freaking 11. We got it. Thumbs up. We're ready to roll. Thumbs up. We're ready to roll. Let's do it. I'm going to walk you through rep number one. And I need to look five from you. From the top, let's roll. Squat thrust walk. Two push ups. Two shoulder taps. Two knee tucks. Walk in, stand up. Jumping squat thrust. Four mountain climbers. Low plank jack for two. High plank jack for two. Low plank Superman. Two. High plank Superman. Two. Two push ups. Jump in and jump up. Boom. There's rep number one. Give me five more. And your upper body is freaking done. Let's see it. We are rolling, we are rolling. Keep moving, keep moving. Control every movement. You need to slow it down to get a better technique. You're better off going a little slower and getting the right technique, working the muscles the right way. You're trying to rush through it or flop through it because you're a little out of breath. Peace, freaking peace. Here we go. You can rest after a set. Finish the whole set. Rest right back down. Keep pushing. Don't stop in between. Good quality push-ups. You're starting with two, finishing with two push-ups. As low as you can get. Chest to the floor if possible. Chain together. We are there. This is it for upper body. This is stage 11 for upper body. Last final stage for upper. All you have is less than a lower. You are freaking done. Top the peak of that mountain is like right within your reach, right within your grasp. Ah! Let it out, let it out, let out the freak, let out the beast, explode. Get some air in those jumps. Get low on those squats, on the squat thrust. Get low on the push ups. Couple more reps, couple more reps, and we'll walk you through it. One more. Let's roll. Walking squat thrust. Two push. Two shoulder tap. Two knee tuck. Walk in, jumping squat thrust. Four climbers. Two low point attack. 
Too high, Blank Jack. Too low, Superman. Too high. Too push to finish it. Jump in, jump up. I need you to finish it up. Bang, slow down the jump to finish off the circuit. Let me see it. Finish it off. And that is time. Stage 11, upper body. You just have the final stage 11 for lower. All you're doing is adding in two jumping jacks, but rotating. So you're here, or sorry, four jacks rotating to each side. So you're here, jack, 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 jack for four. Think of the same way we did that power squat. So your feet are together. When your feet jump apart, you just cut 90 degrees. Bam, feet together, back to the middle. Bam, feet together, back to the middle. I'll show you from the side view. So bam, together, bam, together, bam. 90 degrees to the right, 90 degrees to the left, or total to each side. That is stage 11 for lower. I'll walk you through from the top. This is it. Final round, final circuit, final complex, stage 11, lower body. Let's roll. Squat, knee raise, squat, knee raise, reverse lunge, kick, reverse lunge, kick, power squat, drop, pop, pop, drop. Power lunge, drop one side. Power lunge, drop the other side. Two squat jumps, two lunge jumps, four split jacks, two, three, four, two, wrist cross jacks, power jack, pop, pop, bam, pop, bam, pop, bam, pop, bam. Just one pop, not two. And that power jack, and that's one rep. You need six, this is it, this is the top of the mountain, you're right there. Grab a hold of the peak, pull yourself up, and stand on top of the freaking mountain. You made it to the top, stage 11, upper, stage 11, lower, you are there. Finish this strong, finish this fresh, second win, like you just started. Do every set as strong and as focused as if it's your first set. But put out every set as if it's your last set, your last set in the world. You're gonna die if you don't do a perfect set. That's where you need to attack this stuff. Get low on these, perfect technique. Get those quads parallel to the floor on those squats, and those squat jumps. Let's go, finish this out. Come on, we're almost there, finish it out. Squats and knee raises, the front kick, power squat rotate, power lunge, squat jump, lunge jump, split jack, crisscross jack, rotating jumping jacks. I'll just show you rotating jump jack, you don't have it, the feet are just together. Jump apart to the side together, apart other side together, apart, bam, 90 degree little cut, four total, that's all you need on each one. We need six total reps of all 11 in order of the complex. Keeping it rolling. You're almost there. You're almost there, a couple reps here, with this complex, and you are done. You are freaking done. Boom, 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 pop, pop and drop, pop, pop and drop, I like it. Modify before you stop. Do not stop. You need to modify. Modify it. Don't stop. Don't stand around. Don't wait. After this, the rest of your day is going to be easy. Anything that comes your way, you're going to be ready for it. You're going to be built for freaking war. Let's get one more rep. Everyone from the top. Everyone from the top. Wherever you are, everyone reset. All together. Let's finish it off. Squat, knee raise, squat, knee raise, lunge, kick, lunge, kick, power squat, left, power squat, right, power lunge, right, power lunge, left, squat jump for two, lunge jump for two, split jack for four, crisscross jack for two, Rotating jack for four. We are done. You reach the top of the freaking mountain to the peak. But let me tell you this. You reach that mountain. Guess what? You made it to the top of the mountain. The mountain looked so huge when you started. It looked like it was going to be impossible. After like round three here, you're like, holy shit, I'm going to have to do 11 stages upper and lower. 
This mountain is so big, it's going to be too hard. Bigger than any mountain I've ever climbed. You get to the top of the mountain, guess what you're going to see? You're going to see mountains off in the distance that are going to be two times, three times bigger than the mountain that you just climbed. And those are what's ahead of you in your workouts, in your life. Then you're going to look behind you at the last mountain that you just climbed up that you thought was so big and huge, and it's going to look like a little pile. And you're like, that's the shit I was stressing about? That little mountain back there that I did? This big mountain I just climbed? Look what I just did. Look what I'm capable of. So look at that one out there three times bigger. Let's roll. Attack the hill. Attack the mountain. That's what you need to think about it. Not in your workout in all areas of your life, with your little home quarantine, with your work, your business, everything. Attack it. Don't sit back and wait. Don't worry about how big it is, how hard it seems, and all these other excuses. So if you missed the meeting yesterday that I had, go back and watch it. It's long. It's me babbling, but a lot of good information in there. I'd suggest you sit. You have plenty of time on your hands. It's about 45 minutes. But the recap of it, if you weren't there, is that starting next week, there's going to be one free kids class. You'll get the schedule. What that is going to be, it's going to be a public class for kids that I'm going to run. The week after that, we're going to see about adding even more onto the schedule for kids. So there'll only be one free for the public. and There'll be three total kids classes. So two, two Zoom and one Facebook in here in on the Zoom and our VIP page. There'll be one to the public for kids only. There'll be different times in the middle of the day. So your kids have a schedule, something to look forward to. It'll be around 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. That's the times looking at, but you'll have more information on that. In addition to that, if you don't have enough equipment at home, heavy enough weights, heavy enough kettlebell, medicine ball, the right bands that we use, and you often find yourself having to modify too much, we're going to start an equipment loan program. Where we're going to loan equipment out to you from the gym because we happen to have shitloads of equipment sitting around. And then double that equipment out in storage in the storage units in Nanuet. So we have enough equipment to go around for as, as much as we need. So we're going to start that. You'll get the details on that. We're going to start rolling that out at the end of this week and hopefully have it up and running next week. So you can get the equipment you need because this at-home stuff is not going anywhere anytime soon. You need to make yourself an at-home workout person because this whole thing is getting a lot worse before it gets better. I will tell you that. So embrace this stuff and just keep going all out. And you can see right now, we use the space of an empty elevator. You could have done this workout in an empty elevator. You don't need that much space. You don't need that much equipment. But I know for the long run, we want the right equipment, right? We want to keep getting stronger, keep getting those muscles. And I, and I, I know on Amazon, all weights are sold out. If you want to buy a pair of dumbbells, you have to buy like a pair of three pound dumbbells and they're selling them for like $198 because they're price gouging and shit. So we're going to loan out whatever equipment you need. We'll set that up, let you know exactly how that looks and how that works. Kids program, if you have any questions and need help with your nutrition, just contact us anytime. Send me a message, phone call. Just leave comments on these videos here or in person live this is your perfect chance. So if anyone need help with anything, anyone have any questions on anything? I have a question. Um... What kind, what, how heavy should you go in terms of weight for the loan program? Because I have 20s at home, but when I was in the gym, I was doing like chest presses with 35s and 40s. Now I so want to be like, crazy, so. Yeah, so get something like that for like those heavy squat sets, heavy chest press sets. When it comes to certain weights, we only have a certain amount of like, like 35s and 40s, right. so only a couple of them. So certain weights that there's not a lot of will get you at least one dumbbell, but that's still going to get you just you need to do, and you'll just switch as needed on the sets. If there's enough to go around, there'll be two. But weights like 15s and 20s, that for people that don't have any weights, those we have like 20, 30 sets of, so we can give a pair of those. But certain weights, we will have to just give a single dumbbell. But it's, it's better to have a heavy single dumbbell than to just keep going with the lighter weights. Although you can get, as you see today, you can get it without any work or any weight. You'll still keep building your muscle and keep getting lean and toned. But, yeah, so... We'll, we'll get in touch with everyone that needs the equipment, find out the weight you need, and we'll get as close to possible as the weights that you need for medicine balls, for kettlebells, for dumbbells, and then also a monster band and a resistance band. So we're going to try to get you as close to what you need on that. It's going to be as close as possible. It might be a little off because depending on, obviously, what we have to, to loan out. But we're going to get that rolling this next week along with the kids' program. And we are going to keep driving forward because I don't know about you, but I'm having fun with this online stuff. And it's, it's freaking awesome. I'm telling you, I'm more sore than ever. So even when the gym opens back up full time, we're right now working on a system and a process that we're going to continue this whole online thing. Even when the gym is up and running, where you have access to both. So if you can't make it to a gym one day, there'll still be live training, still be recordings, still be the peak portal getting added on. Because I also know if you watched, if you were in the meeting yesterday or watched it, that even once businesses open back up, which is still going to be, I'm telling you, it's no time soon because 
I have events that are already canceled two months from now that people have already canceled. That big companies have canceled because they're not going back to work anytime soon. And that's right in New Jersey and Philly. I have big events with big companies that have been canceled all the way out to the end of May. So if those companies are canceling it, obviously they're on something there. I'm pretty sure we're not, not happening anytime soon. So once businesses even do open back up, stuff like a gym, people are going to be hesitant. And we understand that people are going to be, the whole world, the world is going to be different. People are going to be nervous about everything. Everywhere they go, they're going to be always thinking ahead. They're going to see a person sneeze and everyone's going to run away from them. They have a basic common cold and people are going to act like they have to play. So when it comes time to even that the gym can open up full force, I know there's going to be a good percentage of people, that, and I understand it, that just aren't ready to go back into that environment yet. So we're going to keep the online going full speed even once the gym opens back up. That's the plan right now. I'm still working on how that's going to look, how it's going to work logistically, but we're going to figure that out, and we're going to make it happen. Because this is just awesome. You have, like, the full gym in your pocket at any time, both live and then on the recordings, like – you literally then have no excuses for getting your, your workouts in. It's like, if you already go on the portal now, there's already 50 at-home workouts uploaded in order on the portal. It's like a Netflix of home workout videos. So you have no excuse to not get this stuff done. You can pull your phone out and do it anywhere in the freaking world. You could be on vacation. You could be on a business trip in your hotel room, and you could jump right into a live workout. Think about that like long term. Even when the gym is open, like it's always going to be accessible for you. Go into a live one, so you can just pick one out. Um, and it tells you whether it's a strength. It tells you what equipment you need on the peak portal for each workout. It's listed. It tells you how long the workout is. If it's a strength, if it's a cardio, if it's a boxing, what equipment you need. So you know if you're in a hotel room, it says cardio, no equipment needed. You're like, bam, that's what I want to do. Or strength, no equipment needed. Or whatever. And, and you can always make this happen. So this is, we're going to go full speed forward. And this is exactly how you take bad situations and problems and adversity and you turn it into something positive and moving forward and learning from it. Because now this forced us to do this online thing, and it's going to now be included in the full program going forward, even after the gym's open. So that's how you need to think about it. Reframe everything in your freaking head. Taking all that stuff and finding a way to make it positive, no matter what. So if you didn't watch that meeting from yesterday, go watch it. We have plenty of time on your hands. It's about 45 minutes. Go watch it. It just explains everything, what I just said now, and a little more. And a lot of, a lot of things in the beginning that you need is a lot of the mindset. So go watch that. It's going to help you out. Keep you positive. Keep you freaking focused, motivated, on schedule. So if no one has any other questions, we are all good. Let's just finish off with some stretches. Let's lay on our side. Let's lay on our side. Get some stretches there. Hi, Clara. Watch us. I want you to lay down. Relax. You can see me. You should be able to see me. You're going to lay all the way down. Keep your knees lined up. And stretch your quad. We're going to hold that for about 30 seconds. So heel to your glute. Stretch that quad. You can lay on your side if you've done it before on your, on your stomach. You can also do it on your stomach, but just stick with one side at a time so you can focus on it. Beth, you okay there? You look stuck there for a second. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. One side, one side. And ah. ease, ease out of that stretch and now go to the other side. So ease out and ease that leg into the other side. Strong, deep, smooth, steady breathing. And don't forget, you can still have your friends come and try this out and have full access to the online training for 21 days for only $21. If they continue on as a full member, everything stays the same. If you go watch the video from yesterday to me from yesterday, you'll, you'll see how everything that we're doing is exactly the same. Nothing changed when it comes to your goals, when it comes to the way we're doing things, so you still will get half off your next month. If your friend does it 21 days and stays on board for the full program, you will still get your referral of half off for your next month. And ease out of that stretch. Lay flat on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, chest open. Just open that chest up big. Take a deep, deep breath your chest open. And then bring your arm across, grab right above your elbow, and just stretch that shoulder while your back and neck are flat on the floor. Big deep breath. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Hold it, stretching that shoulder. You work in that push-up position a lot, up and down, lots of chest and shoulder and try work. Keep your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor. All right, open that back up, open that chest up, your arms straight to the sides. Big deep breath, and pull the other arm across, right, right above your elbow. Pull it across, stretch your shoulder. 
Ease out of it. And we are done. Nice work. You made it all the way to the top of the mountain. And now you're going to go attack those mountains in front of you that are three, four, ten, a hundred times bigger than the one you just attacked and conquered. And you're going to go full speed ahead with your day, attacking the day, attacking the hills, attacking the mountains. If you have any questions, need help with anything, just reach out to me. Let's talk about it. I will see you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome job, guys. Bye. Don't forget to check in on Facebook. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, guys. Good have job. a good day. Bye, Bye Beth. I'll be waiting Bye. for my video. Okay, Robin. <laughs> Bye, Laura. Bye, Clara. Bye, Jen. Bye, Ava. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> How do I get off?